News about the exploration of the universe is often about the discovery of events far away from the Earth, but even the immediate vicinity, in direct comparison, still provides researchers with astonishing findings. Thanks to cutting-edge technology, NASA scientists have now succeeded in sending a space probe closer to the Sun than ever before. The first data evaluations show surprising results. They give scientists a completely new understanding of the Sun and the events taking place on it. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. The Long History of Solar Research the exploration of the Sun is not a new phenomenon that has only emerged in the age of space travel. Already during the construction of the pyramids, the observation of the Sun may have played a decisive role. In the mythology of the Egyptians, the Sun was strongly connected with life and death. Therefore, the course of the Sun probably influenced the location and orientation of the pyramids. In Greek antiquity, the first concepts were developed that saw a Sun as the center of planets. In the 16th century, Copernicus finally made an important contribution by placing the Sun at the center of the solar system. A few decades later, Galileo Galilei proved that the Sun has a rotation of its own by means of observed sunspots. Events such as a solar eclipse or the Northern Lights still fascinate people today, both young and old. Such phenomena are also probably the reason for mankind's great interest in the Sun. Within space research, the exploration of the Sun occupies an important place. The enormous forces that are released on the Sun ultimately also have an impact here on Earth. The Sun generates magnetic fields and so-called solar winds, which influence life on Earth and processes on other planets. This can lead to power failures in individual areas. Processes on the Sun can also be transferred to events on other stars. Thanks to this research work, Scientists have also succeeded in the past at generating new knowledge for other areas of science. Our great interest in the Sun is therefore also for very practical reasons. It gives us insight into important technologies and helps us understand how the Earth is influenced by the Sun. The Parker Solar Probe on its unique mission In one of its current fields of research, NASA has brought a space probe closer to the Sun than ever before. The probe, named Parker Solar Probe, was launched in the summer of 2018 and is collecting countless data of interest to researchers. It has already come close to the Sun several times, the shortest distance it will reach in its mission in 2024, and the probe is expected to fly past the Sun a total of 24 times. The goal of this research trip? To examine the outermost layer of the Sun's atmosphere, the corona. One of the reasons why this layer of the atmosphere is so interesting is that it has much higher temperatures than the layers below. Why this is so is still completely unclear to researchers at present. It only becomes visible to us when there is a total solar eclipse. The Parker Solar Probe is intended to investigate the formation of solar winds and the structure of plasma. It is also particularly interested in the propagation and acceleration of high-energy particles that can travel from the Sun to us. The researchers hope that this will give them a better understanding of the influence the Sun has on Earth and of processes that occur on the Sun. For the probe, ultra-modern technology from NASA was used. The Sun shields used must be able to withstand temperatures of up to 1500 degrees Celsius in order to be able to send data reliably to Earth. Fields studies magnetic and electric fields and the density of plasma and electrons. The particle counters sweep determine density, temperature, and velocity of protons, electrons, and helium nuclei. ESIS is used for solar wind measurements in the corona. With WHISPER, a telescope is additionally mounted on the spacecraft, which can also take pictures and should provide new views of the corona. The total weight of the spacecraft is only about 700 kilograms, a technical masterpiece. In order for radio transmission to Earth to be possible at all, 
the Parker Solar Probe has to keep its distance after its phases of approach and cool down in the process. Afterwards, when it is in close proximity to the Sun, it is not possible to extend the antenna to establish a radio link. For this reason, the recorded data is first stored and then transmitted to Earth during the cooling phases when the spacecraft is at a certain distance from the Sun. In the coming months and years, however, the radii will become increasingly tighter and the probe will come closer and closer to the Sun. Surprising findings, however, are already available to the researchers. For example, data evaluation has revealed important information about solar winds. During this formation, solar winds seem to be influenced by the rotation of the Sun and also seem to be pulled by it. This phenomenon can be observed in the area where NASA's probe is located. Only at greater distances do the winds seem to detach themselves from the Sun and move away from it in a uniform manner. This mechanism, which NASA has compared to a carousel, has now been observed for the first time. Previously, solar winds were only observed near the Earth when they already had a straight line flow. The time at which the movement of the winds changes is now of particular interest to researchers. They hope for nothing less than basic information on the energy output of stars. But the scientists also observed the speed of the solar wind's rotational flow with astonishment. The speeds were ten times greater than assumed in the model calculations. It was also found that the winds came closer to the sun for a short time before they again moved away from it at breakneck speed. To what extent magnetic fields play a role in this is another question for the researchers. Is there a dust-free zone around the Sun? The so-called dust-free zone is also being investigated by NASA. After all, our universe is full of the smallest particles, which consist of former planets, comets, and asteroids, and have been flying through space ever since. Scientists have already suspected that these particles do not exist around the Sun because they are transformed into gas, and therefore a dust-free zone exists here. Only the proof was missing until now. With the Parker Solar Probe, it has now been possible for the first time to support this assumption with evidence. The data clearly shows that the dust content in the vicinity of the Sun thins out considerably. This thinning begins at a distance of about 12 million kilometers and continues until the limit of data availability about 6.5 million kilometers from the Sun. The data situation provides the researchers with such a clear picture that they expect the final proof of a dust-free zone around the Sun as early as this year. This dust-free zone was predicted decades ago. Now we can see what really happens to the dust near the Sun, said Russ Howard, the principal researcher for the Whisper Suite at the Naval Research Laboratory. The Unexpected Activities of the Sun The data also showed that tiny particles ejected by the Sun are accelerated by solar activity. This can also create storms of high-energy particles that reach the Earth in less than half an hour. Such high-energy mass ejections can also disrupt sensitive electronics in space vehicles or even endanger astronauts. The warning time for such events is extremely short, which makes it much more difficult for astronauts to react to them. Why these particles have such a speed is still unclear to researchers. However, clarification of this question is the top priority for scientists and after the Parker Solar Probe measures these particles in close proximity to the Sun, researchers hope to find new clues that may help clarify this question. It is also surprising that the Sun produces an incredible number of particle events, even at times of apparent inactivity. Thanks to the data collection using ESIS, particle events have been detected that have never before been measured. By analyzing these events, NASA hopes to be able to increase safety precautions for astronauts and space technology in the future. Positive Outlook for Researchers Thus far, the exploration of the Sun has already brought about many important findings for science and research. It not only allows us to better understand the center of our solar system, but also physical processes on Earth and on stars in distant galaxies. With the insights that the Parker Solar Probe has brought us so far, further pieces of the puzzle have been put together to help us better understand the universe. But other questions have also arisen as a result. The further advances of the space probe towards the Sun should provide new insights and further deepen our understanding.
All data are freely available to the public, with the intention to initiate scientific breakthroughs. The project around the Parker Solar Probe is embedded in the NASA program Living with a Star. NASA hopes that the program will provide a better understanding of the relationship between the Sun and the Earth. The spacecraft was designed and built by John Hopkins APL.